What's going on everybody? This is No Filter and Nintendo Podcast and it is the third year anniversary of the Nintendo Switch. So as I've done in the last two years, I'm going to show you my physical Switch game collection uh, for the third year anniversary of the Switch. Uh, it's Again, it's been a really great three years for the Switch. Uh, it's honestly been one of the best systems I've ever owned as far as the amount of games that come out for it, but it does seem to be slowing down a little bit now. Um, not too many coming out this year that I'm actually looking forward to other than like the Bravely Default 2s and the no More Heroes 3s and stuff like that, but hopefully Nintendo has a Nintendo Direct coming out soon and they can go over it, but let's just jump right into this video and go over all my physical games. I actually own over 450 uh, digitally on the Switch. Uh, let me know if you guys want to watch a video um, for that, but uh, yeah, let's uh, get uh, started on this here. So, first, uh, uh, first game. AI Insomnium Files, Day 1 Edition. Uh, really, really like this game. Uh, it's one of the best uh, kind of visual novel games on the Switch, and it's from the creators of, uh, of uh, 999 and, and the Zero Escape series. It's really a must-play. I'm still playing through it, but I need to finish this one soon. Really a fantastic game. Next here is ARMS. Love this game on Switch. Uh, the first kind of one of the first major new IPs that came out for the system and uh, yeah it's an absolute blast trust me guys I know the, kind of the discourse right now is that it's not that great but go back to it play it now it's really quite a quite an amazing game next here is Astral Chain and I actually have two of the collector's editions right here in the back one I'm gonna be selling soon and one that I picked up while I was in uh, Taiwan but uh, yeah, Astral Chain is a fantastic game. Uh, really great from Platinum Games. Uh, again, still playing through it. I have a ton of games I'm still playing through, as you'll notice here. But uh, yeah, it's a really, really great one. The Banner Saga Trilogy, haven't played this yet, but I found this one for pretty cheap, so I want to pick it up. Battle Chasers Night War, uh, haven't played this one yet, but I've heard good things and I got it for cheap. Battle Chef Brigade, I did get a whole bunch of limited run games when they first started doing Switch. I've kind of fallen off picking up any limited run games now, but I did get a whole bunch of them and uh, Battle Chef Brigade was towards the start of it, so I did get this one and I was looking forward to playing this, so I would have picked it up either way. Um, heard really good things about it, just again, haven't played it yet. Blade Strangers have played a little bit of this, uh, really good so far. Again, I just have to kind of really jump in, but I did kind of play it for a couple hours and did enjoy it. Uh, the art is really, really quite beautiful. Broken Age, uh, have not played it yet, but it is a good uh, game from Tim Schafer, I believe. I've heard good things. I have it on Steam already. Played a little bit there, but I haven't played the Switch version, so I will, uh, again, I will get to it at some point. Uh, Damon X Machina, or Machina, or whatever you want to call it. Um, really enjoy it so far. Again, still middle of playing it, but uh, yeah, definitely a really good game. I feel like it's getting kind of shit on for no reason, just kind of because it was maybe cool to do so. I don't know. But uh, definitely a good uh, one of those kind of robot games. Dead or Alive Extreme 3. I got this in Taiwan, so this is a Japanese exclusive. Um, I was looking for any of the Japanese exclusive physical Switch games, and this was one of the options, and I was like, eh, may as well give it a go. <laughs> um, kind of a shit game, but, you know, I think a lot of it is just for the kind of the the assets if you know what I mean. <laughs> Dead or School. So this is a game I did not hear about until I was in Taiwan and I actually picked it up there. And uh, yeah, no, this game is something kind of, like it's pretty good. Like uh, I, it was a Japanese exclusive before, but I did just see recently it pop up on the eShop and it is coming out there. Um, in uh, towards the end of March, I believe. But uh, yeah, no, pretty interesting game so far. I actually do quite uh, enjoy it quite a little bit. The Blob and the Blob Two. Love these platformers on Wii, so I just knew I had to pick them up on Switch. Uh, really, really a lot of fun 3D platformers. Diablo Three Eternal Collection. Still have to play through this. Um, not uh, the biggest Diablo fan of all things, but I. We'll definitely get to this at some point soon, uh, especially to play some of that Ganondorf armor in the Switch version. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. I played about, I think, four to five hours of this. I kind of just fell off of it. I think I got some other games that came out and I had to play first, but definitely got to go back to it. It seems pretty good, and the Switch port seems pretty good, too, so definitely got to go back to it. 
Dragon Quest XI S uh, Definitive Edition. Um, playing through it right now, I'm about 50, 60 hours into it. It's a really long game and not like the best RPG I've ever played, like a lot of people kind of are saying it is. I think it's just a little too simple for me, a little too bare bones as far as the combat system goes, but I'm definitely enjoying it and it's really a beautiful game and just really well made, really impressed by it. Doom, love this game on Switch. Uh, definitely going to be getting Doom Eternal on Switch too. Um, just playing it handheld is just really uh, well worth it. Uh, Dust and Elysian Tale, uh, really, really uh, fun game. I played it on Steam. Haven't uh, opened it up here because it's. Uh, uh, I've already played it on Steam, so I didn't feel like I needed to open it. And this is back when I was collecting every limited run game, so it didn't really stop there. Um, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, yeah, good game. Uh, really, really fun and perfect for a handheld system. Uh, kind of been thinking about going back to it at some point. It's really a lot of fun. Flint Hook, uh, limited run game again, but really a lot of fun for a roguelite game. Uh, I think a lot of people should pick it up, but you can find it for pretty cheap on the eShop sometimes now. So, Fire Emblem Warriors. Um, Played through, I think, about 10 hours or so of it. Did kind of lose interest, so I didn't beat the game. It does seem pretty long, but uh, this is a perfect game for the Warriors uh, kind of uh, combo meal that they do. You know, it's a really good kind of crossover. Fury. Uh, played this on uh, Steam and a little bit on Vita, I believe. Um, so I haven't played the Switch version, but uh, yeah, no. It's uh, apparently a really good game uh, on Switch as well. I think the port is perfectly fine. Uh, Golf Story. Um, again, still haven't played this one. Been really holding off on playing it. I've I've had it for a long time, and I've just been waiting to play it. I just haven't had the kind of the downtime in between games that I really wanted to actually just put towards this. So that's coming up. Has Been Heroes. I actually really enjoyed this game. I'm surprised a lot of people didn't like it as much as I did, but it is really brutal. Um, I, I like all the systems they have. It just they should have made it a little bit easier. Then more people could have jumped into it, and then I think it would have been kind of a more of a success than what it actually was. Kingdom New Lands, haven't played this one yet, in limited run games. Nintendo Labo uh, VR Kit, uh, the Toy-Con for VR. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, it, it's an interesting little thing. I still have to play Zelda and Mario Odyssey with it, but it, you know, the, the VR works. It was kind of cool putting together the cardboard. I was doing that with my cousin. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a lot of fun. I like those kind of new creative ideas, so I really wanted to just support Nintendo with purchasing that one. I just got the blaster version, I believe. L.A. Noir, love this game, one of my favorite Rockstar games ever made, and uh, haven't played it on Switch, but I knew I had to pick it up, because it's one of my favorites. Zelda Breath of the Wild, one of the best games ever made, don't need to dwell on that one. Lego Harry Potter Collector's Edition, never played a Lego Harry Potter game, but I am a huge Harry Potter fan from back in the day, so just knew I had to pick that up at some point and be able to play it. Uh, Little Dragon's Cafe, uh, fun game, some are not, uh, from the creators of Harvest Moon. Um, little different, a little slow, uh, not quite the best out there. I did kind of stop playing it after like maybe six, seven hours. Um, do Again, I do plan on going back to it at some point, but uh, not uh, not the best. Luigi's Mansion 3 Dark Moon, not, sorry, not Dark Moon, just Luigi's Mansion 3. Um, haven't played this one yet, but I did get this uh, for Christmas, so I am looking forward to, uh, to playing it very shortly. Just, again, it's in line of a ton of games I have to play. Uh, Mario and Rabbids King of the Battle, one of the best exclusives on Switch, absolute must buy, it's such such a really good game. Mario Tennis Aces, um, played it for quite a bit of time at the start, the online was great actually, I really liked the online and uh, even the, the single player mode, I'm just happy that they had it there, it wasn't the best thing ever, but just the game mechanics in this is by far the best Mario Tennis game out there, um, there's no question about it, this is definitely the best one. Mercenary Kings, uh, what is that, Reloaded Edition, haven't played it, it's from Limited Run, another one from Limited Run, but I think it, they just kind of sold it through them, uh, The Messenger, haven't played it yet, but I have been looking forward to doing so, you can find it for cheap online a lot, uh, Night Trap, again, just haven't played this one yet either, there, a lot of these Limited Runs that just kind of came in, then I just kinda, didn't kind of put them in the queue, but I do want to play this, I don't believe it's too long. Octopath Traveler stuff to beat this one, but oh man, just visually beautiful. The battle system is awesome. A lot of fun. Okami, uh, really, really beautiful and one of the best 
kind of Zelda games out there is what I always say. I usually say it's either my third or fourth favorite Zelda game of all time. Really fantastic game. Still Sealed, that's the um, Japanese edition. Uh, Oxen Free. Um, had this already on cheap that I bought it digitally on, on the eShop. Played through a bunch of its stuff to kind of complete it, but uh, definitely enjoyed that one. Pixels Junk uh, Monsters 2. I love these guys. Um, the developers, kind of their name kind of escapes me right now, but um, knew I had to pick up this game. Pixark, found it for cheap, and I just kind of wanted to give it a go because I do have Ark Survival Evolved on Switch and it runs like a hot mess, right? But um, it's kind of cool that they have this like weird kind of Minecraft mix. Uh, not sure about it, but haven't played it yet. Pokemon Shield, um, really uh, kind of divisive and, in my opinion, kind of a disappointment, but uh, they did make some steps in here and I could see that over the next couple of games that they really do start to really push the envelope, but that uh, here's hoping right because honestly my my um, my faith in Game Freak is pretty low and just the Pokemon company in general to be honest Poi Explorer Edition a fun little 3D platformer Resident Evil Revelations Collection played through the first one again um, and loved it and I still have to play Resident Evil uh, Revelations 2 still that is just the download code in there though Saturday Morning RPG got with limited run games haven't played that one Slime Son though I got this I love this game one of the best kind of 2D platforms on Switch definitely a must play Super Mario Odyssey a lot of fun um, really enjoy this game uh, beat it 100% one of the first Mario games I've actually 100% completed um, it's, it's fantastic it really is uh, Kind of the feeling of playing that for the first time on Switch and going through the whole game, it was just an absolute blast and something I won't uh, forget. It's really something special. Splatoon 2. Um, yeah, no, fun game. Um, not quite the impact that Splatoon 1 had, but I did definitely enjoy it. Um, still want to go back to it every so often because it's just such a fantastic game. The game concept is just so good. Starlink Battle for Atlas. Uh, huge underrated gem right here, honestly. I don't know how people haven't actually just paid attention to the actual game. Everyone just gets stuck on that it has figures and that it has Star Fox in it on the Switch version, but the actual game itself is actually really good. People are just overlooking that for some reason. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, I haven't been playing it as much as I wish I had. Uh, definitely didn't get the DLC or anything. I do like all the new characters coming out, but um, yeah, this is a really good game, obviously. So many characters, so much content. Um, just didn't catch on to me as much uh, as some others did. Sonic Forces. Uh, actually, I had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, I like that it was cheaper. It definitely wasn't uh, all that up to par, but I had fun with it. It's not It's not great by any means, but th there's some fun to be had. Sushi Striker. Wait, it's Shido. Still sealed. Haven't played it. Just got it for cheap, so I figured I'd pick it up and go from there. Uh, the End is Nigh. This is from the creators of, um, of uh, uh, Binding of Isaac. Um, and it's a it's a fun 2D platformer similar to Slime Song. Troll and I, uh, it's actually a pretty decent uh, game, budget title, but it's pretty decent. Uh, it did have a game breaking bug for me, but playing it was actually pretty fun. Thumper, um, playing it on PSVR and it's quite beautiful, but I just got that with Limited Run. Thimbleweed Park, heard a lot of great things. Uh, again, Limited Run Games. Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. Uh, I did enjoy this game. I feel like this got kind of the short end of the stick, but it is a fun game and I did uh, definitely enjoy that one. Uh, Taiko no Tatsuin, Drum and Fun. Uh, this is the uh, Japanese edition. I got the Hori drum with it as well. West of Loathing, another limited run game. Ukulele, um, did not catch my interest. I am more interested in the Impossible Lair, the 2D platformer, kind of Donkey Kong Country style version. East 8, Lacrimosa of Donna. Um, yeah, definitely a fun. Uh, RPG uh, just started up a little bit again. I have so many of these RPGs in the in the in the in the queue right now, but I will get to that at some point. And then final game is of course my uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Really, just an absolute gem of a game. Uh, not quite up to Xenoblade Chronicles, but it's still up there. But yeah, there it is, guys. There's my uh, collection for three years of Switch.